My name is Ben from Wallace Workshop. For the past couple months, I've been extremely busy with making router templates for woodworkers uh, so they can make jack-o'-lanterns for Halloween or for Christmas. Uh, I've been using my Monport 8 watt CO2 laser for that, and I want to show you a light burn tip that's kind of helped me um, save some time while cutting. Now, I've cut probably well over 500 of these templates in the last few months, and I want to show you a tip and light burn that's helped me save time cutting out these templates. All right, so before we get into light burn, I kind of want to show you the type of material, material that I'm working with. This is roughly um, quarter inch acrylic that I get from E Street Plastics based out of um, Texas. And basically I can get eight of these router templates off of one of these sheets. Okay. And so um, basically I'm going to show you my workflow in Lightburn and how I go about day-to-day -day fulfilling orders because obviously I have different designs that happen each day. Um, you know, there's something I did back for Halloween. And um, I'll show you guys in Lightburn again, like I said, the, the tools that I use to make sure that I improve my productivity. All right, so let's go into my Christmas acrylic lantern template here. So part of my workflow is I have all my designs here saved off the workpiece. And if I right click them, you can tell that they're all locked. Uh, because if I click on lock shapes, they lock them. So the reason why I do this is because it doesn't matter what I do, I can't delete my original designs. Like I'm hitting the delete button um, and doing that, it, it won't delete my original designs. But um, what it will do for me is allow me to select um, a design that I want, hit Control D for duplicate, and then I can drag that design down to my workpiece or down to my workspace area. Now, what I used to do was um, take these designs and kind of space them out relatively close to each other, like you see here, just kind of do this process here. And then what I would do is select all the designs there and I would uh, align them just to make them cut a little easier, I guess, a little faster, whatever you want to call it. Um, typically I can get eight of these designs on a piece of acrylic. So I'm just going to um, duplicate this design again and bring it down for um, demonstration's sake. But there we go. And th th this is what I would do normally, all right? And I could get a decent cut, you know, and that, that was my workflow. So if I go over here to preview, you can tell it takes 41 minutes and 17 seconds to be able to do that. No bueno, in my opinion. Something I saw on Lightburn's Instagram account was a way to optimize my settings and make my cut times a little faster, um, reducing material waste, even though I'm pretty much, you know, using the entire sheet when I do this. And I but my biggest thing on it was it saves time. So right now what it does is um, it'll grave the text here, then it'll cut out the design, then it will cut out the, the template. And of course it'll engrave everything first, then it'll cut all the designs first, and then, then it will go off and cut everything, right? When it would go off and cut out everything, it would come down and make a complete square every single time with this configuration. If I go over here to optimize settings, I can remove overlapping lines here, or I'll have that clicked, and I have mine set to 0 0.075 millimeters. As long as that is enabled, and I do some things with my design here, then we can save some time. All right, so now with the optimization setting uh, enabled, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back up here to my designs and click uh, duplicate, come down here, and put it in my workplace. Let's say I've got a tree to do. Duplicate that tree, right? So I'm gonna bring it down to my workspace, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab it on the corner here to where my uh, cruiser, my Corsair, my mouse, thingamabob, whatever you wanna call it, goes to this little um, cross. I'm gonna click the corner. And what this does is this allows me to snap this design to the other design. And now you can tell that they're pretty much set up together like that, okay? And then we're gonna repeat that for all the other designs that I've gotta do. So let's say I do a stocking. All right, and then bam, there's a stocking. All right, now let's say I have to cut four of these Northern Stars, right? So instead of just taking this design, copying, pasting it, or duplicating it like this, duplicate it, bring it over here, mess up my little selection tool and snapping it there, what I can do is select the design again, go into the grid pattern here, and then um, let's say I've got to do four of these, right? So look over here at the X columns. I just, the X columns are the ones that I want to um, 
duplicate, right? So um, I'm duplicating that just like that, but it's going in the wrong direction. So what I need to do is reverse the direction. All right. And then everything is my X spacing is zero. My uh, X column shift is zero. So that allows them to be butted up together. And so one of the things I do disable is group results. All right. Because I don't want the four designs to be grouped together. Sometimes I have to change the design or maybe I, I did too many and I want to delete one, you know, workflow type stuff, but I always take that off. All right. And click. Okay. That allows me to, again, individually select something. Now let's say for example, maybe I have five designs of the North star I have to do. Well, I can only fit four across on my sheet. So I can select one of these designs here, hit the grid pattern again, and then this time do Y rows. Okay. This one's already set in the correct direction. And I've got the Y spacing zero and the row shift to zero. So they're all, whoop, I guess I need to save it, huh? Let's do that again. So all that stuff is set to zero and then it's already butted up to each other. Okay. And then let's throw in a candy cane in here just for kicks and giggles and then butt it in there. So this is my typical workflow. Uh, I try to get in as many designs as I can in one sheet of acrylic. My sheet. Now, if we go over here to the preview screen, you can tell I've already dipped down by, I don't know, eight minutes, depending on the design. Originally, it was 41 minutes. Um, and the reason why this does that is because I'm removing lapping lines. So when it goes and cuts, and I'll show a video of this, so it's going to engrave all the text first, then it's going to cut out all the designs, then it's going to come in and cut out all of the squares. So instead of doing this, one, two, three, four, and then come back over here doing one, two, three, four, what it, it's going to actually start with one, two, three, four. It's going to come over here, and either, it's either going to start from the top or the bottom. It's going to go one, two, three. Go to the next design, one, two, three. So we're eliminating basically a cutting uh one two three four five six unnecessary lines maybe seven eight nine ten unnecessary lines because when it gets down to here instead of going one two three four it's just going to go one two three and then here one two then here one two then here one two because that line has already been cut I tell from the time lapse it didn't cut it didn't cut a line more than once which is awesome, which kept all my templates together. And now I could take the border off in one scrap like that. Now before that setting, my scrap kind of looked like this, which again, is not a really big deal. I'm not worried about uh, saving material. I'm more worried about um, saving time. Hopefully what I showed you in Lightburn today could be a tool in your toolbox. I understand that that method may not be right for every application, but for my application where I'm batching out a ton of templates almost every day, 30 templates a day, um, it helps me reduce time. And even though it's only about 10 minutes, 10 minutes is a lot of time. Time is money, we know that. Um, so if you enjoyed this, um, please like and follow. Um, if you're into more laser engraving type content, uh, definitely uh, watch out for the future. Hopefully I'll make some more uh, laser engraving, cutting type content type thing as well. So thanks, have a great one.